It's the J Bass Today Show. Get ready for a good time. A good time. It's the J Bass Today Show. Get ready to ride. Hey, Caesar's greetings. God bless you, each of you. Welcome to the J Bass Today Show. Thank God for another episode, another day, another opportunity to share in this forum, this platform. Wow, what an honor, what a privilege. In fact, today what I want to do, or part of the episode for sure, is to take a moment and count our blessings. I was uh, having a conversation with my dad and uh he started kind of naming off some things. I said, you know what, Daddy? The, the truth is I have been doing that. And uh, this is just, this is something I think I need to carry on a little bit further. And I thought, well, uh, the J-Bass Today Show would certainly be a great place to do that. Uh, I do have some other show ideas. Uh, one got turned down. But you know what? Uh, it's all about uh encouragement and what i do know is either way what i was going to share uh, though it was private in its origin nature uh, i do believe at the end in the end somehow it will be used to encourage someone somebody's going to be encouraged because uh one of the things I've, I've been thinking about i'm looking right now and I looked at it just because it that's what, what came to mind, but I'm looking certificate of coaching foundation awarded to J Bass. Uh and this is from through the Say Life Coaching Network uh for completing their life coaching certification. And so as a life coach, you want to be able to encourage. You want to be able to help. And and sometimes it does come out even when you're not life coaching it, uh, some of the things that, that your mind instantly is triggered toward or uh, is pulled toward when it comes to your practice, uh, especially if you hear things that are practice related that your mind goes to. And so uh, as a life coach, you want to be able to be able to talk to people, especially those closest to you. And so uh, sometimes when you don't feel like the conversation is is really making any headway or uh, you're not getting through the things that you're saying or being misconstrued, uh, it's 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 to me wisdom that says, OK, you get out of the conversation, take your hands off of it and let God work it out. And uh, if the other people choose, uh, others involved choose to say, well, it's your decision that we're not talking or whatever. Let them say what they're going to say, because you know in your heart that you have tried what you know to do uh, to to keep the communication going. And I say that because of uh, the the. Our daily bread that I'm going to read today is entitled Training for Life. And uh, just thinking about the life coaching practice, I, I, I'm thinking about this because uh, part of what happened in that situation uh, ended up having to walk away and, and not have the more personal conversations, although it was definitely open for other conversations, which were denied and shut down. Uh, so no, uh, the things that I desired were not uh, were not responded to, or, or let me say, uh, were not what was implemented, let's say that. And so anyhow, uh, that conversation is what sparked, I, I, this is the reason why I'm talking about this because I did want to use it as grounds for sharing here on the J-Bass Today Show. Uh, a lot of times things happen and we're not willing or free to talk about it. And the truth is, it is life. It's life and a lot of times we're going through something or we're trying to work through an issue and, uh, we're hiding it. Nobody else can be helped, but others can see and say, you know what? We're going through some of the same thing. And 
And or maybe someone has been through and can say, hey, you know what? We went through something very similar to this that was pretty much along these same lines because I'm sure there are others who feel like you're talking and you're sharing and what you're saying is is being misconstrued, is being taken and twisted and turned, and you don't know what else to do but to uh, remove yourself from the conversation until you can get help to get through it. Uh, at least to me, that's what maturity says. Maturity says I'm willing to talk and walk through this. Um, the only thing for me is wisdom on in that says also that I'm not gonna allow you to continue to tear me down. Uh, and that and since I realize that's what's gonna happen, if it's just us talking, then I'd prefer that someone who's professionally trained or who, who has um, a, even someone who was anointed to be able to converse with the level of uh, spirit that we we both bring to the, the table. And you know, the thing about it, uh, one of the things that was said was the word pride. And that really got my attention because uh, when you've humbled yourself in so many ways and apologized in multiple ways and seeming like even your apologies were twisted into something negative and taken out of out of text, it, that's not easy to, to cope with. And so, you know, this daily, our daily bread, really just the title. I, I don't even know what scripture, I don't know anything about it. Uh, I haven't read anything into it except for the title, which is entitled Training for Life. Training for Life. Life. Let me tell you something. The truth is you're going to be trained in life whether you want to or not. You're going to be trained by life, whether you want to or not. If you skip out on the training, you're still being trained by the whatever uh, repercussions you're receiving as a result of skipping out on the training. But you're going to be trained by life. And that's why, you know, before, even before I get into to this, I know I'm going to get into this. And so I want to as a part of what I've received as training of life is to share my gratitude in the form today of counting blessings. You know, this again was a, a, a thought that was to share into the show, a thought that was birthed by speaking to my father and we were talking and talking and he uh, ended up bringing up something that that he had and something else that he had. And I said, okay, daddy, you better count your blessings. And I'm like, you know what? That's something that that we should make sure that we do daily is to take a minute and count our blessings because the truth is once you start naming all things that you see as blessings in your life, it's going to lead to so much more. In fact, if you really just become unhinged in counting those blessings, you will find that you have spent a day. If you, if you continue going just to see if you can fill up 24 hours, you can fill up 24 hours thinking of blessings in your life. And that's naming off a blessing every few seconds. That's a blessing, having some form of time for that gratitude and, and really thinking about how your life would be affected if that thing was not there. And then what else that thing brings, that's a blessing because normally the blessings are attached to so many different things in so many different ways that I may thank you for this on this end, but then I got to thank you for it again on that end. Once I get to that end, it's so much to be thankful for. Truly, we have, we have things that we can be uh, negative about, that we can complain about. It really is the truth. <clears throat> 
it really is the truth that we have some things that we can talk about that are negative, that are, are energy draining. Truly, we can. But just thinking about the things that bring smiles to our face, that bring joy to our heart, is so much. And so let's start with the smile. The fact that I am able to sit here with a genuine smile in this moment, grateful for the 27th episode of the J Bass Today Show. <sighs> that in itself is a blessing just to be able to sit here with a smile. But being able to sit here is engulfed with so much because that means I'm breathing. I'm able to see while I'm sitting here. I'm able to audibly speak and express what is on my mind. That means my mind is working. I am so grateful for that. All the little muscles and things in my face that make it uh, net, uh, make me able to smile. All of that is working. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating. The blood is flowing through my veins, which all is making it possible for this moment to, to be possible. Uh, my lungs are expanding. I was able to move my hands when I was ready to move them. Move my hands when I'm ready to move them. Move my head when I'm ready to move it. Ah, so many I have. My, my clothes on, I have clothes on my back. As you heard, I had the air conditioner blowing in the background. Hey, air conditioner blowing in the background. Hey, air conditioner blowing in the background. Hey, air conditioner blowing in the background. <laughs> I still don't have it, but oh, I, oh well. I feel good. I honor God for that. And I give him all of the praise and I give him all of the glory. And so what else? makes this moment. Hey, what else makes this moment? Uh, uh, sitting with shelter, roof over my head, uh, bill paid. That's a bill paid. That's a, a reason to give God glory. I got out. I was able to go get some uh, breakfast slash brunch. That means there was some money in my pocket. That's a reason to give God glory. Was able to jump in the vehicle that's in my name that's paid up, it's paid up, uh-huh, uh-huh. And so that's another blessing. Uh, and I forgot to say that the, the shelter, the roof that's over my head is a bill that I paid that's in my name. That is another blessing. God is so good. Um, and I don't know why this just popped up in the midst of saying that, but uh, finished out another semester with all A's. That's another blessing. Four consecutive semesters of all A's. That speaks volumes to me in this season of life. Uh, others may have other great success, but that to me is something for me to put on my checklist as a check. Hey, you did it again. Thank God it's something that you wished to complete and you did what you set out to do. Hey, you did what you set out to do. Hey, you did what you set out to do. And so I give God honor and praise for that. Thank you for the privilege to clap. Oh y'all, it's it. I really think it's so much. I'm I'm look. I have my cell phone. It's on my cell phone. It's on. I said my cell phone. It's on. I said my cell phone. It's on and it's working. And so I'm able to make calls, text, whatever else I need to do. Uh huh. I'm using my laptop. Uh, that means I have my internet that's paid for in my name that is working, laptop in my name, and it's working. Come on. I mean, look at all of these blessings. And how I don't even know how long I've been naming, but I hadn't even fully named the beginning things of just what makes this season so amazing and just the the things that that could be considered blessings in this moment and look how much 
I name in just a few moments. Ears are not getting here. Okay, we got the be oh. I'll be back. All right, welcome back. Uh, my TV was on pause and it was unpausing itself. <laughs> All right, so welcome back. Uh, but thank God for TV. Thank God so much for uh, the ability to uh, just be able to have some worldly positions and things to somewhat stay in tune. I still can't say I'm in tune. Lord Jesus, I just don't be knowing what's going on. In fact, uh, just a side side note, I am just now discovering that Bridgerton season three is back. I was about to say seasoning. I'm not hungry. Season three is out. And so I'm watching episode one, but I paused it so that I could get this episode done. Lord Jesus, it's almost two o'clock on Thursday and I have not finished with my episode. Not finished with my episode. All right. So anyway, thank God for today. I, I honor God that I feel good. I am enjoying these days of feeling good. Um, you know, I know how it is to feel bad. And, uh, you know, what I realize uh, on those days, some days I just want to feel good and just feel horrible. But that means on the days I feel good, I'm going to enjoy feeling good. I'm going to enjoy feeling good. Hey, I'm going to enjoy feeling good, period, and point blank. Period and point blank. I'm going to enjoy feeling good. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I know how it feels to feel bad. So how dare I not enjoy feeling good? How dare I not enjoy feeling good. <laughs> Lord, some of them don't work, but I thank God for the ones who do. All right. All right. Training for life. This would have, this was the August 4th, 2017, Our Daily Bread. My training for the long distance race was going badly. Uh-oh. And the latest run was particularly disappointing. I walked half the time and even had to sit down at one point. It felt like I had failed a mini test. Then I remember that this was the whole point of training. It was not a test to pass, nor was there a grade I had to achieve. Rather, it was something I simply had to go through again and again to improve my endurance. Perhaps you feel bad about a trial you are facing. God allows us to undergo these times of testing to toughen our spiritual muscles and endurance. He teaches us to rely on him and purifies us to be holy so that we become more like Christ. No wonder the psalmist could praise God for refining the Israelites through fire and water as they suffered in slavery and exile. God not only preserved them and brought them to a place of great abundance, but also purified them in the process. As we go through testing, we can rely on God for strength and perseverance. He is refining us throughout toughest moments. Lord, I know that you allow me to go through trials so that I will be strengthened and purified. Teach me to keep relying on you for your strength to endure. Psalm 66 and 10 says, for you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. Ooh -wee. The testing, the trying, the purifying, the refining, the crushing, all this that you go through in this life, that you go through in this life, it can really be so trying at times. 
but thank God that that it's all it we have this counter story or this counter perspective. We have another option in how we can look at what's going on in our life. Choose to look at it as training. We can look at it as purifying something uh, or refining something that's making us better. Something that is is uh, getting us ready for what's to come. If we look at it like that, then it doesn't feel so bad. I can I can because I have a legitimate reason attached to it. I can accept what I'm dealing with if not fully, at least a little bit better because I have a better way of looking at it. Hey, I have a better way of looking at it. Hey, I have a better way of looking at it. Hey, you can have a better way of looking at it. And I think that would be my word of encouragement. That means this doesn't have to be long today. Uh, that would be my word of encouragement. It seems like it keeps coming up. Hey, it seems like it, keep, seems like it keeps com coming up. Hey, seems like it seems like it keeps on coming up. Hey, it seems it keeps on coming up. Seems like it keeps keeps on coming up. It seems like it keeps on coming up. It seems like it keeps on coming up. Finally. <laughs> ah, anyway, it seems like it does though. Uh being able to have words. Or, or a sentence, a statement, a quote, a cliche, something that is an alternative to the negative thoughts that may come to your mind. If I, if for some reason I say, or I feel I can't do it, I, on the other hand, remember I did it when I did that. I did it when I did this. Or, okay. Oh, I have a perfect example. I, I was trying to think of how can I give it a better example. Uh, working on volume seven. Uh, you know, th this will be the most expensive project that I've done because I'm not... I'm not doing the recording. I am paying for quite a few things. And so this will be the most expensive recording. But in spite of, you know, and sometimes because of the expense, it just seems like it won't get done. But I think, you know, volume one, volume two, volume three, through volume six, they weren't as expensive, but I still got them done. I'm able to say I got it done. One, two, three, four, five, six. And although this was supposed to have been released in 2017, and it's what, seven years later? Hey, it's seven years later for volume seven since I thought and hoped that it would have been released. Seven years. Jesus. Just seemed like the time, man. The, I'm moving on, J. Bass. Seven years later, it seems like it just won't get done. But my encouragement is you got one through six done. So you keep pushing with seven. And if you keep pushing with it, you keep working with it, eventually it's going to get done. And so those kind of things that we put in place uh, help us help us to have a better thought, a better outlook. Again, uh, I'm being talked about. I'm being, everything I'm doing is being scrutinized. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in a training. I'm in training. They are looking at me like this. They're treating me like this because they're preparing me for what is next. 
I have been asking for the next level. And I didn't recognize that the next level comes with what I'm dealing with now, plus some. And so I've got to learn how to deal with this to be able to accept that and handle that, which is all encompassed in the greater that I've been asking for. Who figured? All right. So anyway, I pray that that encouraged you. I pray that it has, has given you something at least to think of in those trying times of your life, because the truth is we're all going to have them. We all have them. Uh, from the youngest of us to the eldest of us, there are things that happen that, that really do concern us and, and that we want to be able to uh, see rectified in our lives. And oftentimes our outlook does help in that substantially. Even if it is something negative, being able to look at it in a positive way or in a way that that will influence uh, positive change certainly helps. And so God bless you, each of you. I pray that something that has been said today has encouraged you, whether it was counting your blessings, whether it was uh, being able to uh, find something to, to look at and, uh, and as as the as a different perspective to your situation, any of that, if any of that encouraged you today, our labor here was not in vain. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode, which is the twenty seventh episode. Hey, it's the twenty seventh episode. Hey, it's the twenty seventh episode of the J Bass. Today's show, and I'm so glad you joined me here. I am doing another fundraiser. It is the piano fundraiser, and that means I need some people to start buying some keys. It's only $20 a key, but that's 88 keys that's got to be taken care of. In fact, I'm going to stop using these filters on the background and go get me a poster and post it in the background so that you can see the names. I'm going to write them in as you submit your $20. Not one person has given yet, but I do I do intend to fill that entire piano. I'm going to go as long as it needs to go until the piano is filled, and then I'm going to frame that and put it up for as a reminder of those who help uh, so into this musical vision. Y'all, it's going to take me, and I apologize with the allergies and, and face Something has been causing me to itch here very badly, and it's all here. It's all here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you'll see me rubbing my face, and uh, my nose is itching, and so that's the best way to help me get through and even taping. We just got to do what we got to do. Okay. All right. So thank you for your prayers in advance. Hey, thank you for your prayers in advance. I said Thank you for your prayers in advance. Y'all, these jingles been flowing today. I'm just grateful to God for this season of life and ministry. Thank you so much for joining me again for today's episode of the J-Bass Today Show. It's the J-Bass Today Show. And if you change your attitude, you can change your life. It's your yeah, it really it's is. Your yeah, I found out. Now I'm telling you. Attitude. I have an attitude of gratitude. Lord, you've been good to me.